uh, as I showed you, this is the uh, the pressure release. As, as you can see, she turns over and seems to have compression. So there's hope for this puppy. I think I'll have it running in another week or so. Trying to get this uh, BMW D7 diesel, green diesel running, and uh, today I, uh, I'm going to try to fabricate some uh, banjo bolts. Well, you can buy them, but uh, I couldn't find one that exactly met my needs, and I'd have to mail order it anyway. So uh, let me show you what a banjo uh, bolt is and where they go. That's the uh, injector pump. And this is the uh, line that goes up to the injector up here. So the banjo bolt goes through this hollow, uh, hollowed out um, piece of steel connected to the hose. You put the bolt through it and then bolt it in. And since that's hollowed out in there, I'll show you later, uh, and this has got a hole in the middle, um, the fuel goes through. Now, this one. I'm kind of making a copy of it. I believe it goes on like that. But there's another one that I'm copying that goes on down here underneath. And that pulls the fuel in from the other side of the engine where the uh, fuel pump is. This is the injection pump. It takes the fuel from the fuel pump. So that's what I'm making, another one of these. This job involves some uh, lathe work, of course, and I've already done a good deal of it already, but I'm going to show you what I've done. Bought these commercial 12 millimeter by 1 millimeter pitch, that's fine thread series uh, bolts at a local hardware store. Give you a close up of that. Just a regular old uh, bolt commercial. Cost me about Two bucks, I think. Got two of them. This one is not drilled out. Let me show you what I'm doing. All right, here's the uh, the old bolt. And what I've done is I've drilled a quarter inch hole down the center of it, like that. And it's that deep, quarter inch, right in through the end, right in through there. And then I took a uh, this tool, matter of fact, right here, and used it to cut away the threads right there. And also I used, where is it, my other tool here I used, I believe I used this tool right here to cut along the face of this. So there's a little shelf there that's the same diameter as the... Uh, as a thread. So this is as deep as I'm going to go. I don't want it to get too thin because it's already uh, maybe 75 thousandths wall. It's got to take a little bit of torque as you tighten it down so I'm going to leave that a little thick. Now this is the uh, the one uh, that came out of the engine and it's on the injector side, the higher pressure side. It's got a tiny little hole. Uh, now the other banjo bolts I've seen have had larger holes. So this one, I think I can get away in drilling three holes around there, or maybe just two. I haven't figured that out yet. As long as their uh, diameter equals a quarter inch, which is this, and the space between here and the part that's going to go over it is a quarter inch, then I don't think it'll restrict any flow. I have to cut the length of this down, because you can see I only need, I only need that much thread and I've got way too much. So this thickness here I kinda could wing it because uh, I can, I'm can. i controlling how thick I make the body of the uh, of the banjo part of the banjo bolt. Alright I'm going to uh, have to shorten the bolt. Remember it's got a quarter inch hole in the middle. Let me 
show you how I got it set in there. I've got it on the uh, center here, uh, live center, and I've got a, uh, a parting tool. So I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to turn the handle right down here and move the carriage across it. I'm going to move that into the piece. it easier and I have to thread it into the hole you always want to have a little angle in there all right now if it jumps if the hole isn't exactly lined up the tool will cut through one side first and it'll jump hoping it won't destroy anything Feeding it real slow. Well, that fell off very nicely and didn't jump one bit. Let that drop down there because it's probably hot. Move it away. Let me show you the end of the piece. The hole in the end of it and the end looks uh, fairly good. I'll uh, put the file on that, get it down a little bit more. Okay, I took out the, uh, the live center that was holding the end of the piece. Put the, uh, the chuck in the tailstock and the center drill. I'm just going to clean up the uh, inside diameter. Just run it in ever so gently and break off that uh, sharp edge. There we go. Now I think I can take it out, all operations being done, and let's take a look at it. Well there it is, got a hole in it, now I have to drill some holes in the side. Actually I'm going to take it out and see if it, uh, it fits in the... Uh, in the engine before I go any further.